this has to be one of the cleanest vintage Ferraris I've ever seen. I meet my first mini truck and we check out some awesome vintage vehicles at South Orange County Cars and Coffee in San Clemente, California. Don't miss the end because we're going to show you some really cool cars for sale. As you enter Cars and Coffee, just make sure you're careful when you're leaving and exiting because these cars are really fast and I've seen some videos of people crashing sometimes, so just be careful. But look at how nice that Lamborghini is. I love that red. I believe this is a Shelby Cobra, but I'm not quite sure. It sounded really quiet and I know they have kit cars that are uh, that look like the Shelby Cobra. So let me know what you think in the comment. I always like the Lotuses. You know, you can't even fit in them if you're too big. It's like meant for small people. <laughs> is that a Lotus Esprit S4 V8? Let me know in the comments. Now, what do you think of the C7 versus the C8 Corvette? I personally like the mid-engine of the C8, but now we're gonna see that beautiful vintage Ferrari that I talked about at the beginning. Look at this. I mean, what a beautiful car. I love it. Next, we're going to see another gorgeous example of a vintage car. Now, this is a Nissan GTR. You may remember it from Fast and Furious. Take a look at that beautiful blue, the nice wheels, and I loved checking out this beautiful clean engine. That's so hard to keep that clean when you have a vintage car like that. Looks amazing. So this little cute convertible is a Triumph, which I don't see a lot of these around on the road. So whenever I do see one, and I think I have a lot of photos of these kinds of cars because I think they're so adorable. What do you guys think of Triumphs? Would you own one? Wow. It's definitely awesome. Watch out, don't get run over. I want to check out this truck. Oh, look at this beautiful Chevy. It was similar to my color Camaro. Oh my god, I love it. Nice wheel. Wow, they put X's over the lights. Very cool. I like the old stuff. <laughs> oh, I want to go check out the Woodies. This is the way we walk to get back to the charger anyway. Whoa. God, you gotta admire the woodies because that's hard to maintain that. Right? I wonder what the story is behind that car. Gorgeous, huh? Sorry, the audio keeps cutting in and out, guys, but I just am trying to minimize the wind noise whenever I can. Do apologize for that, but we're by the beach, and yeah, it can get pretty windy. What a beautiful Corvette. I love Chevys. I've always been drawn to them, and my first car was a Chevy Camaro, an 82. Only a V6, but absolutely an awesome car. This car is super iconic, the Buick Grand National. I'm going to show one of these in a future episode up close, so make sure to subscribe. And also subscribe if you'd like to see more of these rare cars for sale. 
This is a 1960 Ford Frontenac, which is how I think it's pronounced. It's Canadian, so maybe it's pronounced Frontenac. This is a really pretty kind of maybe champagne color. I think that's what you'd call it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I just wish that I'd had the uh, $17,000 for this beautiful car. One of 12 remaining. Look at that. By Ford Canada. It's beautiful. Frontenac? Frontenac? Oh my god, look at how beautiful the inside is. Look at the interior. Oh my god. Cool looking, huh? 17,000? <laughs> wow. If you want something newer, this beautiful Mazda Miata was for sale at OC Cars and Coffee for $12,000. Looks gorgeous, and I think that it would be perfect if you love convertibles. This is a low mileage example, only 45,000 miles, 1990. I think it's super cute. What do you guys think? I've always wanted a convertible, but never quite managed to purchase one. Hmm, I like that. Out of all the cars that I saw, I was most excited to see that this little Honda Acti was for sale. Now, these mini trucks are called K vehicles. As you can tell, they're right-hand drive. And they were used by Japanese farmers and small business owners to get goods to market. This one has over 100,000 miles on it, which are usually recorded by kilometers by these trucks. They're asking for $10,000 for this truck. What do you guys think? Now, this is my first time actually seeing one of these in person. I did purchase a two-wheel drive Honda Acti in blue. Super excited to be bringing one of these over, so don't forget to subscribe and follow my adventures as we check out more cars. Catch you in the next video.